Hello everybody and welcome back to LRN where today we are reacting to the news that James Vowles, the chief strategist of Mercedes F1, is joining Williams as their team principal. So we're going to be looking at who is he, what does this mean for Williams, some comments from Vowles himself and Toto Wolff of course losing him, why I think this will benefit Mercedes in particular and whether or not we could see a resurgence by Williams up the F1 grid. Obviously, we know they used to win championships all those years ago and are one of the most successful and long-standing teams in Formula 1. So could this be a step on the way to them being back at the front of the grid? Or is this just a way of them confirming their position as a midfield team um, with no expectations of moving forward? So we'll get into that uh, and we'll look at what this could potentially mean for Williams. And as I say, what I think it will mean for Mercedes. Um, but first of all, who is James Vowles if you don't know? So currently, um, obviously prior to his move into Williams as their team principal, he held the position of chief strategist at Mercedes. Prior to that, he's held multiple positions over 20 years at the Brackley outfit in its many guises. So he's been part of Honda, BAR, Braun GP and Mercedes to, since 2010. So he's part and he was the chief strategist for Braun GP um, when they won the Drivers and Constructors Championship in 2009. So he's got a lot of experience under his belt. He's chief strategist um, at Mercedes as well with his most recent role being motorsport strategy director. So huge, huge amount of experience for um, James Vowles before he moves into Williams. So a massive, massive signing. I think a bit of a coup for Williams to get him to come over to Williams. Of course, he's been dedicated to the Brackley team for so, so long that for them to get him out of there and come in and lead their team with all the experience he has and at Mercedes as well, who of course, have been winning titles year in, year out for the past decade. It's a massive, massive win for Williams to get him into their team. But we also know that there is a, a decent relationship between um, Williams as obviously a, a, they are a um, customer of Mercedes engines. So we know there's a relationship between Williams and Mercedes already. And I do think that could come in to benefit Mercedes um, in the future. But we'll go through the comments first from James Vowles himself and then of Toto Wolff because of course he is losing um, a really trusted ally within the Mercedes team to Williams. So let's see what Toto Wolff has to say as well. But first off James Vowles comments. So he said I cannot wait to start with Williams Racing. It's an honour to join a team with such an incredibly rich heritage. The team is an icon of our sport, one I greatly respect, and I am very much looking forward to the challenge. Williams Racing have placed their faith and trust in me, and I will do the same in return. The team has tremendous potential, and our journey together starts in a matter of weeks. Mercedes have been hugely supportive on my journey and we part on excellent terms over 20 years of working in Brackley. I'm grateful for everything Toto and the team have provided and it's been such a special experience to journey together through failure and success. So for me, I think it's interesting that he hasn't mentioned exactly what the aspirations of Williams are, what he's been tasked to do, what he position he hopes to get Williams to his his role and his agreement and interview conversations have they said to him we want you to be the guy that takes Williams back to the front have they said to him we want you to be the guy that confirms us and and helps us become more competitive and gets us into the midfield um, you know every team on the grid of course dreams of winning championships but is that truly Williams aspirations are they really expecting to get to the front of the grid and is James Vowles going to be part of that I think my immediate answer to that is probably not. I think that it's a fantastic appointment and it will only benefit Williams to have Vowles on board. But I cannot see them going past the midfield battle. I don't think when you look at Mercedes, Red Bull, Ferrari, McLaren, who have invested heavily in their infrastructure, uh, Audi coming in, who are going to be a massive force to be reckoned with, Aston Martin, who have again invested massively in their infrastructure, you, you very quickly find Williams who haven't had these major upgrades in, in the background to their um, you know, aerodynamic departments, wind tunnel, etc. They haven't done the or spent the money and put the work in that those other teams are doing that's really going to allow them to compete at the front. So for me, this move is a massively positive one for Williams and Williams fans. But if they're going to take a, a true step forward, if they're going to be able to challenge all those teams I've just mentioned, I think a lot more work needs to be done, a lot more money needs to be spent 
um, to truly get them to realize any potential they may have in terms of the personnel within the team um, and any potential drivers they may bring to the team in the future they need to invest more in the infrastructure of the team and then we can maybe talk about Williams as being a future a champion or a challenger towards the front of the grid but for me fantastic appointment but even with him not mentioning the fact that he wants to challenge at the front the fact that he's not talking about that if he's saying tremendous potential but I think that's potential to join the midfield battle I think beyond that would probably be a stretch unless we get some announcements from Williams and any other work they're doing to back up this appointment and to say this is the beginning of a project and these are all the other things that we're doing to really deliver for Williams and Williams fans then I will struggle to believe that they're going to be challenging at the front and based on the statement that James Vowles has made I don't think there will be either but that's just my point of view let me know yours in the comments below do you think Williams could potentially challenge at the front and do you think James Vowles is the man to take them there let me know in the comments below but as I say for me that they're not there yet they could be with the right amount of investment but I don't think they're going to be yet purely because there's so many other teams who are truly ambitious to, to win titles that I think they're just going to be beaten out of it. I don't think Williams currently have shown the ambition to compete with those other teams, but maybe they will prove me wrong. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Toto's also has some comments to make. So of course they've worked together a long time. Um, so having worked with him since I first joined the team in 2013, I know how diligent, capable and talented he is and have taken great satisfaction from watching James develop and grow over the past decade. While we are naturally sad to be saying goodbye, we wish him, we wish him every success and are delighted that he will take this next step in his career with Williams, a strong technical partner of ours and one that has a place close to my own heart. Now, this comes back to what I said about there being a good relationship between Williams and Mercedes because with someone going there that has such a strong relationship with Mercedes and with Mercedes having quite a lot of junior drivers and wanting to bring other people through and of course always looking at the long-term prospects of who may replace Hamilton um, and of course having brought Russell to Mercedes from Williams it is a good proving ground for young drivers it's a good proving ground for potential Mercedes drivers and it it hopefully and probably guarantees them that they will continue partnering with Mercedes in terms of being their engine supplier so for me I think Williams having such a strong ally so well for Mercedes having such a strong ally at Williams and for Vows having such strong allies in Mercedes, it's a really good opportunity for both teams to um, to develop uh, and capitalize on this situation. But I think for me, for Mercedes, it's about the drivers. I think we're going to see more drivers go to Williams with that view of basically a testing ground, a bit like what Alpha Tauri is. Um, to Red Bull, obviously not as closely linked as those two teams, but in terms of using that as a proving ground for young drivers, can they make that step up to Red Bull? I think we're going to see that with Williams. They're going to go to Williams and it's going to act as a bit of a proving ground. It's happened before, of course, as I say, with Russell, but I think maybe more consistently in the future, more drivers going there, more understanding that you know maybe it's drivers on loan from the Mercedes driver program where they go there they see how they get on in Formula One, if they can challenge those in the midfield, how they perform against other drivers on the grid. Um, you know, obviously Logan Sargent going there this season, I think it's going to be a massive challenge for Logan Sargent and we'll see how he gets on. But I'd be interested to see in the future what drivers go to Williams, how much influence Mercedes have over the drivers that end up at Williams. And of course, whether they then go on to end up in the Mercedes car, because Mercedes have the power that if they think there's another driver on the grid who is absolutely the guy to go and get, they will, of course, go and sign drivers from other teams. But I think it, they will want to develop drivers and potentially avoid the massive outlay that comes with signing a proven you know, race winning driver from another team. So maybe they can use Williams as a proving grounds for Mercedes in the future because I really doubt Mercedes is going anywhere in terms of their ability to fight at the front consistently for world championships. So it's kind of a perfect technical partnership that the two teams could have. And I'm very interested to see how that develops in the years ahead. But let me know what your comments all your comments and thoughts on this below really interested to know what you think as I say do you think Williams are going to be able to aggress hugely with Vowels in charge do you think the technical relationship between Williams and Mercedes may get even bigger um, or do you think that Vowels will sort of go across 
cut ties a bit um, and focus on himself in the William in in Williams and that sort of relationship will just stay as it is with sort of engine suppliers um, and that's it. I don't personally think that. I think that them the ally that Mercedes now have. Um, in Williams is a huge opportunity for both teams and I think they'll look to capitalise on it but let me know how you think this is going to play out in the comments below and let me know if you think that we will ever see Williams winning F1 titles again because personally I'd love to see that I'd love to see Williams the family name within Formula 1 at the front again at some point fighting for those world championships i would personally love to see that let me know your thoughts in the comments below otherwise thank you so much for watching do make sure to subscribe to the channel We're getting so close to 700 and pushing towards the thousand so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already if you're new to the channel hit a like on the video and let me know your thoughts in the comments otherwise thank you so much for watching have a great day goodbye